Americans depend on the Centers for Disease Control to help keep all of us safe from the most deadly germs and viruses in the world. But the Atlanta-based agency now is under the microscope itself because of a leak that could have exposed people to germs so dangerous, terrorists might use them as weapons. Brian Todd has been investigating this story for us and he's getting new inf information. Brian, what are you learning? Well, we've investigated this ourselves and we've just learned a congressional committee has requested documents and launched a probe into one particular CDC lab in Atlanta. This facility had an air leak from a room handling dangerous pathogens. It's a highly secured biogerm lab at the Centers for Disease Control, conducting experiments with pathogens like monkeypox, bird flu, tuberculosis, rabies, other organisms that could be used as biological weapons. CNN has learned a potentially dangerous airflow leak at the so-called Biosafety Level 3 lab will be investigated by a congressional committee. Congressional sources and CDC officials tell us the leak occurred on February 16th of this year. What is your biggest concern of what could have happened here? Well, the biggest concern, obviously, is there, as my understanding, there was a contingent of visitors who were walking through the building. Had, had one of those people been stricken or made ill or worse, obviously that would have been devastating. Congressman Michael Burgess will be part of the investigation by the House Energy and Commerce Committee. Experts say if experiments had been underway at the time of that air leak, unprotected visitors could have gotten deadly exposure to germs, but an epidemic would have been very unlikely. The airflow system in that lab is supposed to protect against the release of contaminated air. Air from a clean air corridor is pushed through vents into that lab where experiments involving those pathogens and including small mammals take place. The air circulates and then is pushed to the outdoors through powerful HEPA filters. That air is supposed to be cleaner than the air that comes in. But on February 16th of this year, visitors who were in a clean air corridor noticed a puff of air being pushed out to that corridor through a window in the slit of the door. That is not supposed to happen. CDC officials say animals were in that lab at the time, but they were secured in filtered cages. They say the lab was clean, was not active at the time, and no one got infected. CDC officials told us they couldn't put anyone on camera. In a statement, a spokesman said, at no time during recent incidents featured in the media were CDC workers or the public in harm's way. This unique facility features multiple security layers specifically designed to protect workers and the public in the event of an incident. There's been at least one other safety-related incident in that same building at CDC. In 2008, it was discovered that a high-containment lab door was sealed with duct tape. Bob Hawley, former safety chief at a government infectious disease lab, talked about the safety layers at CDC, like biosafety cabinets researchers work in within that lab. Nothing is handled outside that cabinet. So they're working with minute amounts of material, and the chances of aerosol are negligible. But there are also questions about a possible cover-up. In an internal email reported by USA Today, a CDC biologist said the CDC will, quote, do anything to hide the fact that we have serious problems with the airflow and containment in this whole building, end quote. We have not been able to independently verify that email. In response, a CDC spokesman said the agency will continue to be transparent in addressing safety challenges and that it will cooperate with that congressional investigation.